Hi, it's Chester Tugwell at Blue Pecan Computer Training. And in this video, we're in Microsoft Word, and we're going to look at how you restrict the styles that are available in a document or a template. So begin on the home tab of your ribbon, go over to the styles group and launch the styles pane. So that's with this little button here. And at the bottom of the styles pane, you're looking for the button with the capital A and the tick. And then you've got four tabs across the top. You want to go to restrict. And the first thing to do is just restrict all of the styles. So select all, restrict. Now we only want normal heading one and heading two to be available in our document or our template. So normally it can't be restricted. So that's already available. But what you do is you select the style that you want to permit, heading one, click on permit the padlock disappears. So heading two, commit. Okay, now down here, you need to limit formatting to permitted styles, and then tick these two boxes here. Click on OK. Requires a password. Click on OK, and you'll see that the styles that are available are limited to those that you permitted. Now, what if I create a new document? So I've just created a new document. And I had some text here. So I'm going to say heading one and I'll apply the heading one style to it. And then what I'm going to do is use heading three. Now I need to work a little bit hard to get heading three to appear. Actually, what I'll do is I'll use heading two, apply heading two, and then heading three will appear for me. So I'll apply the heading three style. So you can see it's not black, slightly different font, etc. I'm going to copy this into my new document, document that I was in, that I've restricted the styles in, and I'm going to paste it in. And you can see that although heading one and heading two retain their style, a style has been applied to them. If I click here, the heading one style has been applied. I click here, the heading two style has been applied. Heading three, because it's not supported in this document anymore, it's been restricted, that defaults to normal. So any styles that you paste into your document are stripped out if they're not permitted within this restricted document, which is good news. Okay, so how would you unrestrict or allow all styles in this document? Well, one way of doing it would be to go to review and then go to restrict editing. And then down here, bottom right, stop protection, one, two, three. And then if I look here, I have got all my styles back. Now let me reinforce the protection. One, two, three, one, two, three. Now, unfortunately, this method isn't completely foolproof because you can still add styles to the list of permitted styles. Let me show you how that might be done. If I reopen the style pane, go down to manage styles, for example, if I say I want to permit heading three and click on OK, then heading three now becomes available and can be used. So it is fairly foolproof in terms of stopping people applying styles accidentally or pasting in styles that are not permitted. But at the end of the day, it's not completely foolproof. If people want to add styles, then they can do so without knowing the password. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this video. Hopefully, that's been useful for you. If you have found it useful, don't forget to subscribe. But goodbye for now, and I'll see you next video.